So I'm back with what I am hoping is my last and final kitchen cabinet declutter minus under the kitchen sink. So we're going to do the kitchen sink last because you guys, I want to redo that. I don't know if I'm going to need new organizers, if I'm going to use those for the office closet. I want to do that separately. So besides that, I'm hoping this is the last and final kitchen cabinet declutter. So if, you not, if you've not seen the first three, I will link all of those in the cards above. So these, I don't know exactly what to expect. So we're just going to kind of roll with it and see. And I don't know if I need to move stuff around, but... I have saved this for last because these are my least favorite cabinets of all in the kitchen. Most of these are the bottom. I hate my bottom cabinets and I can't change them. So let me share with you what it is and then it'll make more sense. Okay, so you have seen me clean those out, these out, those out, the drawers, all of them but this one right here which we're really not going to do much with those. I've already cleaned these out. I can vacuum it. We'll see. So basically at the top, I have that cabinet all the way over. So we have all of those that we're going to do. And then it's these bottom cabinets. Just, and then I've got them on the other side. This is what I hate about these cabinets and why I, I don't like, I really don't even want to address these because I hate the way that these things are set up. So you literally cannot see anything. And all of this is sitting here because that's my husband's spices and stuff that he uses. And a couple of years ago when I was looking at this, I thought maybe that we could take this shelf out. This needs clean real bad. Look at that. But structurally, that's a word, this shelf I think is keeping the cabinet together. So we can't take the shelf off. So, but I mean, look. And there's no wonderful way to organize that. It's just, so this is why I haven't done this. Look, I mean, what's the purpose? Why, why even have that? This one over here needs to be clean. It looks, oh, look at that. Those two fell from that, <laughs> that drawer at the top. I just, I, I'm not excited about these. And then over here, all this needs to be clean too. I just don't like, I don't like these cabinets at all, but you know what? I have to just kind of deal with them. And over here, I've started this process. Oh, these are this is my least this is why I oh this is why I've never completely finished any of this kitchen declutter because I hate all of these cabinets you can't see it's like a dungeon and I don't want to spend money on them because I don't like them so those are all gonna be done last we're gonna start with so we're gonna start with the top and this, I don't plan on getting rid of any of this stuff. So this is stuff that we actually use. So what we're gonna do is just kind of pull it out and we're gonna look at it and clean the shelf and probably just put it back up there, I'm thinking. But as you see, this is another reason I don't like these cabinets. Look, that goes all the way back. I have no idea what's back there. Same thing with down here. These cabinets go all the way back here. Like, I don't know who designed these cabinets, but they did not do a good job. So, things get lost back there. So, we're just going to kind of roll with all of this. Okay, let me see if I can get all this going. So, this I use every single day. This is my Ninja blender. I use this for my protein shakes that I do every single day. But see, like this, but I don't know. Like, the, the issue with some of this stuff is, like, we don't use... This we use pretty often. This is our crock pot. <laughs> Knives that, <laughs> I don't even, yes, it's like, I think to like turkey and, okay. 
Okay, I was wondering where this was. I was wondering where this was, and it was in, up in the cabinet. And then our little small crock pot that I don't even know if we have the lit. Like, why would I use this? I've never used this. Little dipper crock pot. I'm never gonna make anything that has, it's, it's not one, no, zoom in. I am never gonna make something that only has that much stuff in it. I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. So I'm getting rid of this. I'll tell you, we really need to repaint these cabinets because they look really bad, but we're not to that yet. So now we're to the top cabinets and I'm sure it, you're gonna notice this, so I'm just gonna go ahead so now we're through the top cabinets and I'm gonna go ahead and address this because I know somebody's gonna say something. So a few months ago, we broke the handle off of our microwave. But guess what? They have, get, they have discontinued this microwave and the parts. So we can't get a new handle. So we are not sure exactly what we're gonna do. So we've been opening it by the bottom until we figure out what we're gonna do about the handle. I don't want to buy a new microwave. That's not something that I plan on buying, but I know you're going to notice, so just bear with me. And I haven't put anything back in that cabinet yet because this might take a few going through some cabinets until I figure out what I'm going to do with everything. So you're watching real life <laughs> right now, real life. So at the very top, okay, there we go. So these cabinets above the microwave, Ooh, nasty. Oh, like somebody got my husband this for his Christmas present. It's a Chief's Crown Royal bottle. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's gum up here. We've got a, what? Like why is that up there? Why is this up here? This is all the cake stuff. We've got wrappers. Oh my gosh, there's gum wrappers up here. Sometimes we'll hide candy and stuff up here if we don't want Derek eating it. Ooh, that is, that's nasty. That needs to be cleaned. So basically up here, we just have right now trifle balls and a cake. Why is this all up here? So this all needs to be cleaned and we need to find a new home for it. That, that's a really odd spot for that. These cabinets here, I'm just gonna open them. We're not gonna do these yet. Okay, I'm gonna open these, but we're not gonna do these yet because you'll see. All of these. So in our first declutter video, remember this one is completely empty. This has the plates and stuff in it. So that would probably be a good spot to put all of that right over here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pull all of that down and then we're gonna put it up there because this would be a good spot to put all of the medication. This would be a good spot to put all the medication. And here's the funny thing. I think this is originally where the medication stuff was. I will not be sharing, I don't know. Here's the thing with medication. Let me jump on in front of the camera. Okay, here's the thing about medication. I filmed a like dedicated medication video before and YouTube would not give me monetization on it because it was dealing with drugs. So I might share it, but we might not go into detail about it. That might be what I do. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna take all of this down, I'm gonna clean the shelves and I'm gonna put that in that cabinet across. That looks so much better. So I've got all of it up here and it's not, 
having to be crammed in the cabinet. So that does appear to be bigger than the other cabinet. So I did switch out the plastic bin at the top. So I got one from the pantry that we had last week that I put in the attic because this one was not holding all of the lids. So now all of the lids are in that one basket and I can put this in the office. So all of that, and a few of these things are with Kate and Nathan. They're at a volleyball tournament this weekend, so it will go underneath some of this stuff. Looks so much better, so much better. Now this stuff here, this goes in that plastic bin in the pantry that I have not gone through yet. I will not do that in this video. We will go through that at some point. This as well. So this is what we're getting rid of so far. So after doing these cabinets, these I need to put, I don't know, I'm about to ask my husband. You know what, these can probably be sat by the ice maker over here. Because I think that's what we use like for ice and things. This is where our scoops are. We just have that random cup there. So that's good. So we have this all cleaned out. So I'm gonna put all of the medication stuff up there. So that'll be done at the very end of this video. And then this will go in the office. This will go in that bin in the pantry. This is getting recycled, disgusting. Donating this, I have to find the lid. Donating this, I have no idea where this came from. And now we're gonna move to the next one, which is this cabinet or these cabinets up there. So I'm gonna have to take everything off the top of the refrigerator and then we will see what's up there. Okay, I have it all cleaned off and I even, well, I, I dusted, but look. Okay, put that down, vacuum that up. I have no idea what's up here. Oh, oh, I need to sell these. Did not know these were up here. Okay, all of these are getting sold. Okay, so I got all of that put up here and I did not put the lid on the trifle bowl because there's still a little moisture in there from me washing it, so I didn't wanna do that. Now I'm hoping I can find the lid to this air fryer. Air fryer, fryer, not air fryer, fryer. It's not in the lids in the pantry, so I'm hoping it's in this cabinet we're gonna look at next because I would like to put that in this cabinet to go with that. So let's shut that and we're gonna move to this disgusting cabinet down here. So yes, look at all this. Still have everything here. Now that's probably all gonna go back in that cabinet up there, but I'm not sure yet because I wanna go through this cabinet first before making any decisions. Look how disgusting. I don't know how we get all these crumbs in here, but we do. Oh my, what is this? Holy smokes. Is that broken? What is that? I didn't even know we had this. Like, why is this down here? It, it's broken, I think. That appears broken. It looks like something's supposed to go on top of this, but I don't think we have anything. Oh my God, like I, I did, I, mm. okay. there they are. Y'all, really? We're getting rid of the George Foreman grill. Ew, what? Rusted, gross. Yes, we're getting rid of this. I think that's a grilling basket, I think. So we'll keep it. I think that goes to the grill. That goes in the cabinet above. Like, why is all this crap down here? Okay, we're gonna clean this out and then we're gonna go through all of this and sort and everything nasty. I had this little light bulb moment, okay? So this is right beside the oven, which needs to be cleaned too. But all of these pans and things, look, I've got a lot of pans over here. And I've got a lot of pans over here behind stuff. Why don't I see, I think this might be the perfect height for those and width. I'm gonna see if I can move all of those over here to these cabinets. 
I think that would work great. Then they wouldn't be all over these two big cabinets. So let's see. Okay, so here is one of the pans here. Let's see. That's perfect. Now the only thing is, maybe eventually you can get like an organizer to where it, it can stack up, but right now, All the pans in here. We're gonna be able to see them all and everything. Oh, that pan, that pan has seen its better days. Okay, we're getting rid of that pan. I've got a lot of pans. I even got a set of new pans here. So I don't need that pan. Okay. Ooh, that one is pretty rough too. And I've got the you know what? I'm gonna get well that oh that Y'all, I don't, I'm getting rid of these. I got new pans. My mom got me some new pans. Mom, I'm keep these old nasty ones. Okay, yeah, we're getting rid of these because I have two new pans. Two new pans that my mom got me and then I bought these myself. Oh. And I'll wash these once I use them. I got this set of three here at Sam's, it was Nordic Wear. If they have it on the, the website, I will link it. Anything else that needs to go down there? I've got all the cooling racks. Let's put the cooling racks on the two. And I'm gonna put those on top because I use those. Um, so, as I said, I probably don't wanna keep all this like this. But for right now, this is how we're going to do it until we can figure out an organization system for this. Okay, so I thought I had more than that. I think they're dirty. So, those, look, oh my goodness. Okay, that's a huge accomplishment of nothing, if nothing else. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and clean this and clean those other uh, cooling racks and get all of that put down here and then we'll move to this other cabinet and I will share with you what I'm getting rid of. Okay now I'm down to these cabinets so I did a few things before getting back on here but I pulled all of this stuff out of the cabinet. I vacuumed. I'm trying to sort all of the extra stuff into I've got to go through that one. I sorted a lot of things into this basket here so this is just a little, little miscellaneous basket. It's got um what is that lemon thing my hand mixer some big attachments to my KitchenAid mixer that won't fit in other drawers some knives just some random stuff that i'm going to stick in that cabinet down there just to kind of keep it out of the way because we don't need it a whole lot but i need a place for it to go i'm working on that medication cabinet so i can share that with you look at it so far it's looking really good so I'm slowly getting that done and now I'm down here. So as you see, I'm all over the place. But when you sometimes when you started the cluttering project, one thing leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to another, like I've told you guys, and that is what's happened here. So what I'm doing down here is I'm creating a little basket for my husband. So my husband has gotten to where he really likes to grill and cook. And this is all stuff that he uses. So yes, I could take it and put it with the spices and put it in the pantry with everything else. But you guys, this is his stuff and this is what he likes to pull for or pull from, excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this. I'm going to see if it all fit in this basket here. I cleaned it out. So he was using this basket here and then had everything, as you saw earlier, just piled down here. So I'm going to see if I can get all of this to fit in this basket here and then have a little shelf for him. Because, y'all, this is really not even going to be used. Like, I may put those platters and stuff down here, but this is not an area that we really pull from. So, especially since we got those pans out. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'll check back in with you and share with you how I've got all of this set up. Okay, I had to switch my battery out. So let me tell you, this looks and feels amazing. So this is done. I'm not gonna go over it because I don't wanna get you know flagged or anything, but this is the cabinet with the stuff in it, you guys know. So that at the top is just um, 
like gauze and the what do they call them you put the ice and ice pack things and then i have all the other stuff down here band-aids and fever things and all of that that looks and feels amazing and then now down here y'all saw that we'll go through that again i did pull everything out i got rid of a few of these vacuumed everything and put everything back in here so i use all of those then down here this looks this looks this looks so much better so this over here is stuff that we just don't use so i have little trays if we were ever to you know have get togethers normally when we have family get togethers they're not fancy but i want to keep those now i do need new round cake pans but i'm going to keep those until i get some more these are bread pans up here got some table mats that are placemats that we do use from time to time stuff down here that we don't use often but it's down there and there's nothing in the back of the cabinet then over here this is all of my husband's stuff basically so we've got all of the grilling stuff down here baskets and like toothpicks stuff to clean the grill all of that then i put all of his spices that he uses into two baskets so now he's not going to have to like reach to the back of the cabinet to try to figure out where something is everything is in two baskets so if that tells you all of that stuff was not fitting in that woven basket and then i put the little scale over there the food scale so that looks amazing so now moving on to the last set of cabinets which is these three and these two so you know what we're going to start over here because this is really not going to be that hard to be honest <sighs> okay I, I say that so i'm going to pull everything out everything down here we basically use but it just needs to be sorted and moved around and if there is something down here that i didn't know was down here that i'm not using i'm going to get rid of it okay so that is all done. Now I didn't film all that because I had this feeling that this video was getting a little bit long. So I wanted to go ahead and not share that. So I cleaned all of the shelves and look how deep this is. You can't even see back there. That's how deep it is. Look, see if it all. So the goal over here is to make sure that everything is up front and not pushed all the way to the back. So I've got everything lined up and you guys, I use everything on the top shelf. I use a lot. The stuff on the bottom, I don't use often, but I want to keep it. So all of that is good. So all of that is good. Now I will tell you that I moved a few things to the other cabinet. This I am recycling. It looks dis disgusting. This is one of those Pyrex. I got this from a like a vintage or a thrift shop or something it's probably one of them that contains lead so i'm not sure what to do with those if you watched my pantry declutter video i mentioned not knowing what to do with the pyrex so i'm really not sure what do you do with those so the last order of business are these cabinets over here and i will tell you i don't even know if i need to go through them because i went through them not too long ago and i don't think i do because I'm not, I'm not in the right headspace right now to decide if I want to get rid of those Ray Dunn platters. Because I'm like, yes, let's get rid of them. And then if I get rid of them, I might be like, well, I wish I would have kept the, kept the elf one. Or I wish I would have kept this. So I've gone through this. This was probably one of the first cabinets that I went through before I started filming any of this. So this is all good. I vacuumed all of this. So I'm not going to do anything with this at the moment. So I just kind of wanted to open it up and share it with you. This is all of our cutting mats and that is my what i use when i make cinnamon rolls and there's platters all the stuff at the back left i may eventually get rid of y'all know but i'm not right now we'll see eventually um these i'm usually the deviled egg person so those are my fiesta wear deviled egg trays and no they're not radioactive because they are from the 2000s let me mention that too they are not radioactive so they are not from the 50s 60s or 70s i am not that old you guys and that was not something that was passed down to me so 
before we get off here, let's go through and let's look through everything one more time. I am so excited that we have all of this done. <sighs> yes, I, I can't believe that we did it. So let's go up here. This cabinet looks so much better and I didn't mention this. So look at all that space right there. I took the little white basket of that had my mixer and all that. I put it up there because I wanted to make sure I kept all that stuff, but I didn't need to pull for, from it every pull from it every day if I can speak. So it's up there. This I pull for every single day. Probably in the next two hours, I'm gonna pull that out again and make a smooth or not smoothie, a protein shake. I drink one almost every day. Up here, nothing but and that my husband is not going to drink that that is like a little kansas city chiefs little present and then that over there is empty so he just has that up there i'm gonna get rid of his stuff here <sighs> that just looks so nice y'all i have oh i don't know it looks and feels amazing cleaned all that out got all the expired stuff out up there i'm not going to get up there because i already have the dog and cat treats up there but it's got my fryer and i did find the lid and then it's got those trifle bowls and the cake stand over here oh, look at that y'all why am i getting emotional about some cabinet organization this is sad Kristen, stop that looks good Y'all saw those. We don't have to go through that again. And then down here. Did we go through everything? <sighs> Oops. Looks so good. Izzy's like, Mom, I'm busy. And the only thing I didn't do in the kitchen were these. The only thing I really need to do is pull all of this out and vacuum, which I'll probably do once I get off here. But you guys, it's silverware. And here's the thing. You may go, does somebody really need two drawers of silverware? And the answer would be yes. Because I don't know how many times people have asked me if I really need as much stuff as I have. Yes, because one, I don't know about y'all, but forks and spoons walk off. And number two, we have family that comes to visit. And for holidays, we are usually the people that host holiday get togethers. And there's sometimes we may have 12 or 15 people over here eating. So a lot of the stuff I actually bought around Black Friday. So we needed more knives. So I bought more knives. Um, I bought more silverware. Silverware. Here's the thing. I'm really odd. I will not eat off of these big forks. I like the little forks. Like the kid size forks. So I, that's just how I am. So all of that, we know everybody will have silverware and everything. So I do need to pull that out and do that. I'll do that after we get off of here. But that's the only thing I have not done in this video, but I will take care of that. And you guys, that is the kitchen cabinet declutter. It feels so good. I'm so happy that I was able to do this. Now, let me share with you outside because that is what we're gonna donate before we move to anything else. Oh, I've gotta do one more thing. One more video will be down here. Yeah, look at it. So I wanted a dedicated video for this and it's gonna take me a moment to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, that's coming out. Because it, it just, good intentions, but did not work. And then this is all that's going to be donated probably in this next week so that we're starting fresh when we move to the next area to declutter. And I'm thinking the next area to declutter is going to be uh, part five of the attic because it is a little bit warmer and I'm sold a few things and donated a few things. So I have some extra space in the office. So once again, feels amazing. And that is all for part four. And the final part besides the under the kitchen cabinet, declutter of the kitchen cabinets. And I will tell you, I have dreaded making this final video because I knew these cabinets were gonna be a mess and I knew that it was gonna take some time. Like this video might be short, but let me tell you, it's taken me all day. This is a Saturday. It's taken me all day to do this because I would do a little bit, take a break, think about it. Do a little bit, take a break, think about it. And I've had to charge the battery up <laughs> in between. So that should tell you how long this video is actually 
is actually filming it how long it actually is before I cut it down so thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed all of the kitchen cabinet declutter series I have that final video that I will probably share next week I just have to kind of get my thoughts together because here's the thing I don't want to have to buy anything like for this for all of these videos I haven't bought anything I've bought no that was for the, the that was the linen closet I've bought one one organizer two organizers that I've purchased for this whole decluttering series so the goal is to get rid of stuff and not to purchase stuff so I will tell you that it's looking pretty positive that I'm filming this on the 3rd of February and I know you're watching this a few weeks later but it's looking like right now that we'll have the furniture paid off this month originally our furniture was supposed to be paid off in June so we have sold so so much stuff and really busted it that we have able to we were able to get the furniture paid off in February so that feels so good which means that's 300 extra dollars that's going to start in March paying off the credit cards so I cannot wait to start doing that so you guys I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you give it a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time. Bye, you guys.